Hi guys, welcome to this video and in this video we are going to study about syllogisms. I am aware that guys we have covered a lot of videos which were related with syllogisms in the previous few days. However, I am still covering syllogisms because this is one of the very very important topic as far as logical reasoning is concerned and these are different type of syllogisms questions that can be asked in your exam. So, in the past video, we have seen syllogism questions wherein we were given few statements and we were asked to find out which of the conclusion follows. But this kind of an ex uh, but this type of questions are exactly opposite to that. Here we are given conclusions and we are asked to find out which of the statements are correct. So, instead of inferring the conclusion, we have to hear derive the statements from the conclusion. So, let us begin this video. In this particular session, we are going to solve five questions and I'll give you one minute to solve each question. So, let's see what exactly the questions are. In the following questions, only one conclusion is given and five statements are given as A, B, C, D and E. From this, you have to take the statements to be true even if they seem to be at a variance with commonly known facts and then decide which of the given statement logically follows. So, this is very very similar to what I had said earlier. You are going to be given few conclusions, one or two conclusions and you will be given five statements. You have to find out which of the statement is the correct one. So, let's get started. The first question is, the conclusion is some mouse is not monitor, some keyboards are monitors. In a time of one minute, let us solve this problem and let us see which of the statement is true and from which of the statement can be the conclusion be inferred. So, your time starts now. Now let us see the conclusion. Some mouse is not monitor. Some keyboards are monitors. So here we have some mouse which is not monitor. So we cannot represent this in a Venn diagram. But some keyboards are monitor can be represented in a Venn diagram. So we have keyboards here and we have monitors here. So here in this problem we are talking about some keyboards are monitor which is the yellow highlighted portion. If you have a look carefully at the conclusions, we are given about the relationship between the mouse, the monitor and the keyboard. In the statement, we are given the relation between screen, monitor, keyboard and mouse. So, let us read the first statement. Some screen is monitor. No monitor is a keyboard. If you look carefully in the first statement, it says no monitor is a keyboard, which is something which is contradicting our conclusion which says some mon keyboards are monitors. So, definitely my first statement is not the correct one. Similarly, if I have a look at the second statement, here also the statement says no monitor is keyboard. 
So this is definitely not true because my conclusion itself, I need not even draw the Wayne diagram, my conclusion itself is saying some keyboards are monitors. So there is a relationship between keyboard and monitor whereas statement 1, 2 and statement 3 also, they are denying this particular relationship. So I know for a fact that statement 1, 2 and 3 are not the correct statement. Now let's have a look at statement number 4. All screens are monitors. All monitors are keyboards. No keyboard is a mouse. Okay, so now this is talking about the relationship between screen and monitor, monitor and keyboard, keyboard and mouse. So let us draw statement number 4 in, in a Wayne diagram. All screens are monitors. So I have screens here and monitor is the larger circle which is encircling my screens. All monitors are keyboards. So I'll have another larger circle which is going to encircle my monitors as well and that is the keyboard. No keyboard is a mouse. So I have a mutually exclusive Pi, which is talking about mouse. All right. So this is the Wayne diagram for statement number four. Now let us see if it is satisfying the conclusions. Some mouse is not monitor. So we have this mouse which is mutually exclusive from our keyboard monitor as well as screen. So yes, this is satisfied. Some mouse is not monitor. In fact, all mouse is not monitor in this case. So yes, the first conclusion gets satisfied which talks about some mouse is not monitor. Let's have a look at the second conclusion. Some keyboards are monitors. Yes, definitely this is satisfied. Some keyboards are monitors and the yellow highlighted portion, the yellow scribbled portion represents that particular section which is coinciding with keyboards as well as monitors. So I can say that both of my statements, both of my conclusions are getting satisfied by statement number 4. So the correct answer here is my statement number 4 which is all screens are monitors and all monitors are keyboard, no keyboard is a mouse. I hope you guys have got this question and I hope you have understood how to solve these particular type of questions. Whenever we have conclusion first and we are asked to find out which of the statement is correct, then you do exactly the opposite. You check for each and every option. You draw a Wayne diagram for each and every statement and check if that satisfies the conclusion. Let's get to the next problem. Now in the second problem, the conclusion is some walls are not brick. Some cement is not water. This conclusion is followed by five statements and your time starts now. Okay, so here we have the conclusion which is talking about wall, relation between wall, brick, cement and water. So it is talking about two relationships, one is between wall and brick and the next is between cement and water. Now let's have a look at the, at the statements. Some bricks are cement. So the statement is talking about relationship between brick and cement, cement and wall, wall and water. 
let us read the statement and see if it is obvious that the statement is false some bricks are cement no cement is wall all walls are water okay so there is no obvious point in this particular statement and so we have to go ahead with drawing the venn diagram so some bricks are cement i have bricks here some bricks are cement no cement is a wall so i can have the wall either here which is completely mutually exclusive from my brick as well as cement all walls are water so i can have a water here or else i can have water in a very different way i can have water which is comprising of my cement and brick also so this blue color is my water this can be my water or else there is another possibility wherein the red color bigger circle is my water in both the cases all walls are getting encircled by the very big universe of water so let's read the conclusion now some walls are not bricks which is very true i am having my wall which is discrete from my bricks so the statement can be true some cement is not water so if you look at carefully at the bigger circle the blue colored circle here the whole of the cement is getting trapped into my water so this statement becomes this conclusion becomes false hence i can conclude that my statement 1 is definitely false i am just going to wrap this so my statement 1 is something which is not true now let's have a look at statement 2 all bricks are cement so i have brick which is a smaller circle and i have cement which is the larger one which is encircling my bricks some cement is wall so i have a circle here which is coinciding with my cement part of which is coinciding with my cement and all walls are water so again i can have a big circle of water which is comprising of my brick cement and wall now read the conclusion again some walls are not bricks okay i can say that this particular conclusion can be true but the second one some cement is not water again this particular conclusion is not getting satisfied so which means that my statement number 2 is also not the correct one so this statement is also not the correct one now let us have a look at my third statement no brick is cement all right so i have cement here and which is mutually exclusive of the brick all cement is a wall all right so i can have a very big wall here which is going to comprise of cement and brick i have just taken an assumption you can very well take a smaller circle which is just going to comprise of the cement as wall no wall is water so i am going to have my water which is completely different from my wall okay so let's read the statement once again no brick is a cement all cement is a wall and no wall is water all right so i have drawn the venn diagram here which is satisfying all these statements now let's have a look at the conclusion some walls are not bricks so yes it, it is very true that we have these walls which are not bricks or else if i have a a bigger wall a bigger circle if i am talking about this particular circle then also the the yellow highlighted portion is the portion of the wall which is not brick so yes this statement this conclusion is right some cement is not water so have a look here we have cement and we have water which is which are both 
mutually exclusive in my particular diagram you can have your own uh, diagrams your own possibilities and even in those diagrams you will find that there is there is a part of cement which is not a part of water so we can definitely say that some cement is not water so here i have satisfied both of my conclusions and hence statement 3 is the correct answer now let's go to the next one some silver are platinum some diamonds are silver so here in this question we are talking about silver platinum diamonds the relationship between these three three metals and your time starts now okay guys so here we are given the conclusion speaks about silver and platinum relationship and diamond and silver relationship so let us read the statement one and see if there is any obvious thing which is contradicting the conclusion all silvers are gold some gold are diamond no diamond is platinum all right so in the statement one it is talking about three different four different entities four different metals one is silver gold diamond and platinum so yeah four different elements now let us draw the vein diagram there is nothing obvious which is contradicting my conclusion so i'm going to draw the vein diagram all silver is gold some gold are diamond so i can have diamond here and no diamond is platinum so i can have platinum which is completely discrete but then the conclusion says some silver are platinum so this particular conclusion is not satisfied by my vein diagram so i can say that my first statement is definitely the wrong statement so now i am going to rub this off and let's see the second statement some silvers are gold so i have silver and gold all gold are diamond so i have a bigger circle which is going to comprise of my gold and all diamond is platinum so i have another bigger one of platinum now let us see the conclusion some silver is platinum so yes some silver is platinum the highlighted portion is the platinum portion yellow highlighted is the platinum portion then it says some diamonds are silver which is very true the pink highlighted portion is that of diamond and silver so yes both of them both of the conclusions are getting satisfied by my statement b hence the answer is statement b so this was an easy one now let's get to the next problem some crows are not parrot some crows are dove so guys your time starts now
Okay, so if you look carefully at the conclusion, it is talking about the relation between crows and parrot and crows and doves. All right, so let us see the first statement and see if it is obviously contradicting. All parrots are owls, so we have parrots and the bigger one consists of owl. No owl is a crow, so I have crow which is completely discrete from my parrot and owl. And some crows are doves, so I have doves again which is also discrete. Now the conclusion says some crows are not parrot. So, some crows are not parrot. Yes, this is very true. Some crows are not parrot because I have both of them which are discrete. In fact, all of the crows are not parrot. Some crows are doves. So, yes, this is again very true. Some crows are doves. So, here I have just checked my statement 1 and I have found my statement 1 to be true. So, the correct answer here is statement number 1. Guys, for this particular question, I have checked all the five statements and I have found that statement number three is also the correct answer. Statement number three is also satisfying both of the conclusions and I will teach you, I will uh, help you understand how. No parrot is an owl. So, we have parrot and owl which is absolutely discreet. Some owls are crows. So, I have crows here and all crows are doves. So, I have doves here. No parrot is owl. So, I have parrot and owl which are completely discrete. All owls are crows. So, I have crows which is the bigger circle. Some crows are dove. So, I have dove. Here. Now, some crows are dove. This statement is already satisfying my conclusion number 2. But let us find the relation between crows and parrot, parrot through my statement number 3. Some crows are not parrot. So, if you look carefully, here I have this entire section of crows which is not parrot. So, my conclusion number 1 is also getting satisfied. So, the correct answer is option A and option C in this case. Whereas in the previous problems, you need not even check the other options. I have marked whatever option. You need not even check the other options. We just have one correct answer. But in this particular question, we had two. Now let's get to the fifth problem. Some white are not brown. Some maroon is brown. So guys, your time starts now. Okay, so we have all white are not brown and some maroon is brown. Now let us see each statement carefully. All white are black. So we have whites here and we have blacks. All black is brown. So the bigger one is going to be brown. No brown is maroon. So if you look carefully, this statement, no brown is maroon is itself contradicting my second conclusion. So, this is definitely wrong. Also, I have statement 3 and statement 5 which are not correct because both of these statements, they are talking about no brown is maroon. So, I have to choose between option number B and option number D. 
So let's let me rub this out and let me try option number B now. Some white are black. So I have white and black here. All black is brown. So I have a bigger brown. And all brown is maroon. So I have a bigger maroon. Some white is not brown. If at all I extend this particular um, circle and I'll show you how I'm going to draw it for you. I have white, brown, black and a bigger brown. If I consider a bigger brown and a even bigger maroon as a second possibility of this second statement, then I can say some white are not brown is a contradiction and this particular conclusion is not getting satisfied by my statement number two. So my statement number two is definitely not correct. Now let us see statement number four because we need not even check statement number three since we already know that it is not the right one. Let's see statement number four. All white is black. So I have white here and a bigger black. No black is brown. So I have a complete discrete cell or discrete pie of brown. All brown is maroon. So I have maroon here. I can have a discrete white and black and a, disc and a brown and maroon which is completely discrete from them. Now let us see the conclusion. Some white are not brown. So it is very true here the highlighted pink highlighted portion is of white which is not brown. Then I have some maroon is brown. So yes this the brown portion the yellow highlighted portion is represent some maroon is brown. So I have got both my conclusions satisfied by option number D. So option number D is the right answer. You can have your own set of vein diagram which might be a bit different than mine and you can still get the conclusions right. So with this particular question we are ending this video. I hope you have understood the second type of syllogisms problems that can be asked which are exactly the opposite of the first type wherein we would be given statements and we are asked to find infer a conclusion. But here we are given conclusion and we have to check each statement if, if any of the conclusion is not getting satisfied and we have to find out the statement which is going to infer our conclusion. So guys with this question I am ending this video. Wish you all the best. Thank you.